everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. We're in the middle of a murder investigation. Let's just continue right where we left off here. Heinkel, how sure are we that this room is really secure? We've been over every inch and found not a single hidden passage. It's a sealed chamber if I ever saw one. Kikio, you stayed here when you were with the Black Blades, didn't you? How well did you all know the fort? When I was stationed here as part of the Black Blades covert forces, I knew every hidden passage in this fort. It appears, however, that there have been renovations since then, which could very well mean... Hmm. All right, listen up. I want you to go over every square inch of this room with a fine-tooth comb. Leave no stone unturned. Yes, sir. Excuse me, Uncle Heinkel. We'd like to have a word with you. What is it this time, Sholmes? I just thought, uh, perhaps we should consult with Mr. Lesser. He is the owner of the fort. Hmm. Not bad. Renovations? I'm afraid any such work would have occurred before I acquired the property. But you should have records showing the name of the former owner, yes? The one who carried out said renovations? Yes, I believe I do. I thought as much, just as you should have records of the two of us working here. Isn't that so, Whitsum? Uh, that's true enough. I remember it well. We were still students then. It was the best pay we'd ever gotten. W why yes, it was. You heard the man. Go to Mr. Lesser's office and bring me the names of everyone involved with the renovation work. Yes, sir. Uh. Not too shabby, Sholmes. You might have what it takes to pull off an investigation. With careful police work and keen instinct, both. I wonder. In truth, I still can't decide. Am I best suited to the life of an inspector, tirelessly pursuing criminals through steady, thorough investigation? Or am I destined to become a genius detective, using logic and inspiration to track down the most evasive criminal masterminds? Hmm... You gotta pick one, huh? Ugh. Sholmes, I think you should follow in Kikio's footsteps and become a private detective. There's something to be said for structure and teamwork, but once you start to rely on that structure, that's when you'll get lazy. Work on your own like Kikio, and you'll have to fend for yourself. You'll be tested to hone your wits and instincts. Do that, and you'll have a bright, crime-solving future ahead of you. I'm sure of it. Why, yes! When you put it that way, it's elementary! I'll dedicate myself to becoming a great private investigator, just like Aunt Kiki. What is this nonsense? A fine pair you make! Heinkel! You may come from a great family, but don't let that go to your head, you mewling little upstart. Perhaps you've been caught up in this fool's starry-eyed dreams, but to seriously recommend that my dunce of a nephew become a P.I.? Just the load I'd expect from a know-nothing glutton like you, idiot. That's cold, bro. Come on. Heinkel, don't you think you're being a bit harsh? Shut your mouth, maggot. Persist in this idiocy and you will face me in battle. Are you prepared for that? Yes, actually. I do. I want the knight asterisk and I do not want the ninja. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I want the knight. Yes. I want the knight. Fine then. But do not harbor any delusions that you will walk away from this unscathed idiot. I don't know why we're fighting in the middle of a crime scene, Stand but. Before the knight, Argent Heinkel, former commander of the Eternian Sky Knights, alias the Iron Wall of Unahana, alias the YHPD's hard boiled inspector Heinkel. Justice will be served! Okay. Let's go ahead and default, 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 default. Okay, P defense up, not a big issue here. Okay. 
and get Adia, you know, a little bit of that counter action going. Okay, so let's go ahead default and default. I could probably use. Look, go ahead and let's use a. Can we use a Kirata here? Oh, uh. Kirata, okay, all allies, and along with that, we'll do a piercing bolt on Hind Cole. Um, okay, and then let's just do a default, I guess, here. Ow. Okay, I need someone to heal Adia before she dies, please. Just a little close. Adia still might die here. Ooh, still did 6k. Okay. Now let's go ahead and hit some things. and hit a moon shadow here. And then probably hit squeaky wheel. No. When taking damage while HP critical. Yes. Oh wait, no, I don't want okay, let's just hit. Let's just hit Eichel here. With Magnolia. Let's go ahead and just do Moon Shadow. And then we can do the tramples on Heinkel. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out some. Um, wait. Oh, I can, I do have ability of these. Okay, let's just use fire here on all foes. And then with him, let's go ahead and use. Um, I guess we could probably use some Erog Aurora's. And then a rejuvenation here. Oh, and Adia's dead. I was hoping she wouldn't die, but We've only begun to fair enough, I guess. We'll just revive her in a minute anyway. But I was hoping that wouldn't happen there. But that's alright. I'm just sad that a lot of these buffs are going to go away now. Okay, didn't hurt him at all. Cool. Okay, yeah, th that's just like not hitting for anything. Well, I'm, I'm glad you can still get his attacks off. Okay, let's go ahead and default, and then we gotta use a Phoenix, and then an X Potion on Adia here. Ow. Ow. This should heal her up all the way for sure. Okay, with Adia, let's go ahead and use the Trample. Let's just get rid of the last guy there. And we could probably just use a Nothing Ventured, and then a Fiora straight on Heinkel here. Ooh, what a solid hit. Okay, it seems like these physical attacks are doing nothing. It's absolutely wild. His defense must be crazy high. Well, then let's just go ahead and just do some more nothing ventures, and hopefully that'll hit for something. But I have a feeling I'm just going to have to hit him with a lot of Furious to get rid of him. Go ahead and default here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to hit him with a lot of these fire spells. Okay, just keep doing the same thing. But this time, we're going to go ahead and use a Kirata here with Piz. Make sure no one dies here. Okay, perfect. We got that off. I was hoping he's probably... Okay, even with the nothing venture. Okay, that hit him a little bit there. Do I maybe have a chance here to hit him? I don't know what happened to his defense for me to hit him at least a little bit. Let's use another Kirata here. Okay, good. I need to get Magnolia out of death range. It's hitting him for... Oh, it's because his magic defense went down a tiny bit. So it's hurting him just a tiny bit. Okay, yeah, let's just defend. We'll do some more Furas at him. And then I guess another heal while we're at it. There we go. Get Magnolia even out of further death range. Hopefully we can kill him with just these. At least I hope. He probably has a lot of HP though. Okay, it's default. Can I still... I can still do the... Um, I can do Benevolence. Okay, well, let's do a Kirata. And then let's do a Benevolence. With you. I wonder how much we give him. Do a half? 66. It doesn't help that much. Um, I guess we could do another... Do one of those. Just a good default here. 
Ouch. It's default. Do nothing ventured. And then another innocence. No, let's do another Kirada here. I'm gonna need some more MP with Tiz himself, actually. We keep running on this end. We counter a little bit. Another little counter. Just default to do that. I can only do three here. Let's see, is he weak to one of these? I I forgot. If he is, I'm gonna be a little mad because I wasted a bunch, but so let's take a look. Okay, he's not weak to Blizzard. He's weak to L Thunder. Man, I could have done so much more damage this entire time. I'm actually sad. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and default. Let's use, let's use a Turbo Ether. No. Let's just use an ether on you, and then we'll just do another Kirada, I guess. Okay, I just need him to not hit Adia. Okay, the one person I needed him not to hit was the person he hit. That's okay, I'm use Phoenix. Do a high potion, and do a little bit of brave here. Fair enough. Mmm... Let's see. I don't know if this this I don't think this stuff would even help. Because there's just like nothing we can do against them, but. Um, I guess let's just do another thunder. Hope for the best here. Yeah, I we just have to chunk him down slowly because physical just 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 not do literally does zero. There's just nothing I can do about that, so. Okay, if he could stop doing that, that would be great personally. Gonna use Phoenix on you. We can do another Kirada here. Yeah, let's go ahead and just like not kill people, Heinko, please. And especially you. I need him alive to actually do things. I should just hit him with one thunder. Just do a default. Okay. Yeah, I probably could have ended this fight a long time ago if I was any if I was smart at all. Um, uh, let's use another another ether. Let's use another Kirada here. Hopefully one more Thunder will kill him. Because I'm, I'm running a little low on supplies now. Not going to lie. Because these two are basically useless. Oh, actually I can do two here. Do two Thunders. Ooh, okay, I guess I literally have room for nothing. So let's hope these two kill him here. You love to see it. Have I stumbled? On the path to justice. Well, I didn't know why he wanted to fight me in the first place. It's just like, honestly, it wasn't that big of a deal, so. But I got the asterisk that I wanted, the knight. So, I want the ninja too, but I really like the knight, so. Well rounded with, yep, high physical defense. Yup, 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 yup. I just, I really like the knight. It's like always one of my favorite classes. I can't believe I lost. You're stronger than you look. Uh, who are you? The game is up, Whitson. There's no place for you to run. What? You always hated it when I followed my Aunt Kikyo's lead, using my instinct to deduce the truth. That's because you were always afraid that I just might notice something suspicious about you. Like the fact that you observed a certain feature of this fort when we worked here two years ago, as well as... <laughs> Looks like the ruse is up then. It was Whitson? Whoa! When your biggest dream was to be some glorified flatfoot, I thought I could let it slide. But I knew I'd be in trouble once you started to truly hone your keen intuition. What have you done with Heinkel? I don't have to answer to you. If you care so much, find him yourself. Get back here! A secret passage? So this is how the perpetrator... So they found the real Heinkel tied up in one of the fort's hidden corridors? Yeah. I'm just relieved that he wasn't hurt. Sholm says he was lured out by a false promise of information, then ambushed and taken captive. 
Hmm. But in the end, we still don't know the truth of what happened? Well, thanks to Inspector Heinkel's investigation, several facts have come to light. Lord Gulliver's murder was the sole work of Madame Goldiga, who was after his fortune from the beginning. She heard about the hidden corridor from Whitson. Apparently those two have a history together. She just happened to hear about it? Whitson mentioned the corridors when Lady Goldiga told him that her husband planned to purchase Starkfort. Perhaps he also mentioned how ideally suited it was for staging the perfect murder. A murder she then decided to carry out. Whatever he knew or didn't know, Whitson hurried to the crime scene under the pretense of investigating with Sholmes. Then Madame Goldiga misread his intentions, thinking he was there to help her. She tried over and over to get him on her side. In the end, she even tried threatening him. Though we'll never be sure with what. But what about the note we found? I shall follow where you go. There were quite a few theories flying around about that note, weren't there? The madam might have written it, or... The truth seems to be that Lord Gulliver wrote that note himself. He did? I guess coming to Starkford and getting caught up in its history sparked the creative urge in him. That note was from a novel he was working on. They found the continuation of it with the rest of his belongings. Oh, it's like the real so one. it was just a red herring. Forgive me. It's my fault for jumping to conclusions like I did. Apologizing for a bad hunch? Who are you, and what did you do with the real Sholmes? I'll take that as a compliment. I've opened my own detective agency right here in Yunohana, following in my Aunt Kikyo's footsteps. I've solved a number of cases already. The police have even come to enlist my services as a consulting detective. Moving up in the world, aren't we? But wait, I smell a new case brewing. Where's the dump? What? Where? I just saw Yunohana's finest hurrying off in quite the rush. Given their numbers, it must be something big. One of Aunt Kikio's blades. Go it alone this time, is it? It seems she wants me to handle this case on my own. I'd best get started then. Huh. He's turned out to be the real deal. Oh! He always had a good sense for catching the relevant details of a case, but he's also surprisingly good at looking beyond his own preconceived notions. He even comes out with some shocking deductions at times. I don't know if it's true that blood will out, but he just might very well live up to the legacy of our family. I would not be surprised if he ends up even surpassing his grandfather one day, even if he lacks somewhat in the areas of common sense and social graces. Always calling me dear Aunt Kikyo. I feel obligated to come to every crime scene with a batch of freshly baked chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're pretty proud of him. Hmm. It seems you chose well, Idia. Everything's working out wonderfully. Yep. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And I'm relieved that I gave Sholmes good advice for his future, too. Excuse me, can I get a soybean mochi and another cup of strong tea? Make that two. One for me, too. Let's make it five sets. Coming right up! Uh, but there's only four of... Uh... You'll love to see it. Okay, so now we can actually move on with our normal side quest, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch a few things here around. So we're gonna go ahead and go to jobs. We're gonna go to idea. We're gonna go to the night. Gee, who looks coolest in night? Ooh, Magnolia looks kind of sick. Yeah, I, w I wanna make Tiz or you the night, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to make Adia the knight here. I think uh, Magnolia, I like her better as a knight, but I just think Adia, Adia is the knight, okay? I can't, I and I won't change that fact. So, we're going to go ahead and... This is one of the things I should have bought a long time ago, but I'm just stupid and didn't. The Noxious Rod for sure. I'm going to buy a serrated shield here. 
Should buy two. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave her stuff like this. I'm going to take the katana off, but the thing is, technically, she doesn't have any abilities from the knight yet. So once she gets those, I'm gonna go ahead and put the whole tool handed and everything. But for now, I guess there's just there's nothing to put. So I'm just gonna leave her as B. I'm gonna get her job levels a little bit higher, and then we can continue on with doing all of that knight stuff. But yeah, for now, let's go and do that. And then I think this would do better than the chariot stuff honestly so i'm just gonna go ahead and put bushido on there and that should be good but yeah so we're gonna have to level up her thing to actually you know do anything but once again this is how i put so i put this shield on her this is a new helmet i bought i also bought this and then i think that's about it that i actually bought i don't think did i buy anything for anyone else oh yes yes almost forgot this i'm so stupid i his magic could have been so much higher so much long ago that was very dumb of me to not do that. Um, why does he... Oh. This is way better. Hold on. Let me go buy another shield. What am I doing here? Let's go buy... Let's go ahead and buy another one of these. I don't even know if that's any better. I'm not going to even look at the stats. I'm just going to do it. Let's see. Serrated. Serrated. Is this better? Um... Eh, surprisingly not. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that one on there for now. Um, but yes, okay, now let's continue on with our normal mission here. Let me go ahead and give it a quick save, or give me a quick healer -oo. We'll save, and then we'll go towards the main mission. But yeah, I'm guessing in that when we go to Florum, we'll probably get some better stuff. So I'll probably end up wasting a lot of money there, um, or a lot more money there. So, I wasted a lot of money here too, but whatever, it is what it is. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to choose not to worry about it. But anyway, let's go in here. I think we're looking for a new ship, right? I think that's the dealio. A new ship. Why, hello! It's so nice to see you again. Will you be staying the night? Or are you just here for a quick bath? We have rose baths today. Every bath is filled with beautiful petals and exfoliating thorns. Uh, that sounds great, Sakura. But actually, we could really use your help. A ship, you say? I fear I'm just a humble stewardess. You should speak with Lord Arima. Lord Arima? Yes, the Lord of Yunohana. If you visit the castle, he should be happy to grant you an audience. That makes sense. Thanks. Well, let's go see if this Lord has a ship for us. Stop. I don't know where this castle is, but let's figure it out, I guess. Oh, it's up there. That makes sense. Oh, that big old castle in the back. Welcome, travelers. I am Kusatsu Arima IV, Lord of the Baths. Good title. Your arrival in our nation has made quite the splash. I hear it, you fight the Empire. If you need anything at all, just say the word. I will happily pool my resources for you. Thank you, your lordship. As a matter of fact... We need a ship. A ship, you say? Why, <laughs> that's as simple as soap and water. My favorite lacquered gondola is at the docks, adorned ornately with the Arima family crest. Please, think of it as your own. Another rowboat. Uh, actually, we were looking for something a bit more ocean-worthy. And bigger. Hmm, that's one idea down the drain. And yet, I fear it is my only vessel. If only there were some way to... But no, that's impossible. What's impossible? Alas, an intractable clog. If you wish to venture into the open seas, I suggest you wait for a merchant vessel to call it port. But how long is that gonna take? <sighs> what are we gonna do? Now, now, my friends, no need to get so lathered up. Come, let 
must nibble on something sweet, and we shall ponder this bubblesome issue together. Did you say something sweet? I did. It just so happens a traveling confectioner was recently drawn to our baths. He presented me with an offering of desserts, but I fear they will be too sweet for my sophisticated palate. Perhaps you will find them more to your liking. I know who made those. Hey, I bet these are from that traveling pastry chef we met back in Hartschild. What luck! Maybe he has a boat for us too. It's worth asking. Hmm. They're all different. Let's each pick one, and then we can go look for them. I don't care much for sweets either, so I'll just have whatever's left over. Then it's just the three of us. First come, first served! Oh, they all look so yummy! Uh, I think I'll have... Un petit minute! What do you think you're doing? That's the one I wanted! Settle down, you two! There's no use fighting over cake. Right, let's unclench those fists now. No, no, you, you don't need to crack your knuckles. I know, why don't we let you decide who gets first dibs? Good idea! I'm sure you will choose wisely. Won't you, you? Murder girl! Why do I feel like I'm being sandbagged? You! I'm trusting you won't be swayed by any saucy wiles. Got it? Uh, uh, right. Whatever you say. In that case... Uh, Magnolia. Easiest decision of my life. First. I go first! And I pick... This one. The honey and nectar drizzled blooming Bavarois with party-colored flower petals and a dusting of pollen. It's almost too beautiful to eat, but eat it I must. Here goes. Oh la la, so magnifique, I could just die. Is it really that good? Heavens, is it ever. It's like a chorus line of butterflies dancing on my tongue, wearing little shoes of infinite delight. C'est divine. Je me sens comme un papillon volatant à travers un lit de fleurs. Whoa! It's so good she's lapsing into Moonlish! Well, guess it's my turn! All right! Uh, wait, what happened to Magnolia? Magnolia? Are you all right? Was her poisoned? Magnolia! Something's definitely wrong. It's like she can't even hear us. I feel like I've seen this look before. Of course, the, Rosa? the people in Heart's Child. Oh, never mind. There must be something in the cake. Bathzooks, could it have been poisoned? I don't know, but we shouldn't eat anymore. Let's throw it out. <sighs> That's no way to treat my delectable delicacies. I remember you. I just roofies his pastry cakes, chef bro. from Heart's Fest. What did you put in the cake? No artificial ingredients, if that's what you're implying. Just pure, unadulterated genius. My creations don't just taste magical, you see. They have certain effects on the eater. These cakes include an extra dash of inspiration I added just for you. Taste and behold the result, my dear diners. A one-way ticket to heaven. Huh? Qu'est-ce qui m'arrive? What's happening to me? Magnolia! I'm... I'm disappearing! Alain, please help me! You! What? What did you do to her? Didn't we just go over this? My cakes are so divine, anyone who tastes one is whisked straight off to heaven. 
Of course, in heaven you have no body, and you can't move or talk. I like to call it death by delicious. <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute. It was you, wasn't it? All those poor people in hearts, child. That's right. And they savored every moment. This doesn't make any sense. Unless you're working for... <gasps> Angelo Ovio Panettone, Patissier non parel. Charmed, I'm sure. Personal confectioner to the Kaiser, and proud owner of the Patissier asterisk. My boss was sick of you meddling in his affairs, so here I am. Ladies! Yes, Chef! Right on cue. Now let's hear it. My sweets are. To die for! My face is... To die for! And these losers can... Go to heaven! It's time for dessert! Lick their plates clean! Do we fight with Magnolia? I am Angelo... Or is Magnolia just gone for this fight? Holder of the Patissier Asterisk! By whisk and by spatula, I create a profusion of pastries, a symphony of sweets. The women of the world swoon at the taste of my delicacies and the sight of my face. What? But that's not my... What? I can't use... Magnolia has no magic. That's r And she's my main magic dealer. Or... Oh, wow. Okay. That sucks. Okay, well, it's just default, I guess. Literally, what am I supposed to do here? I. That's just default. I can't. I can't literally do anything with her. How do I don't even know how to get a sponge cake. How do I even get out a ghost? Okay. I don't know what to do with that. If you know, if you was the ghost, I wouldn't have a problem. But can't really do anything about that one. You're the ones who took out Amy? Uh, wait, you're the darling she was going on about? Oh, don't remind me. Yes, she was fond of that word. But I assure you, I was not her darling. I show her a little bit of kindness, and the woman is hopelessly enamored with me. <sighs> not the first time that's happened, of course. But over and over, sweetie this, darling that. I can't stand the clingy types. You're a real jerk, you know that? Can't you beat see that she loved you? Huh, that's rich coming from the kid who beat her in battle. You think I wanted to come all the way out here to play babysitter? Yet here I am, all because she couldn't take care of business. That woman continues to give me nothing but grief. Okay. Well, hopefully we can finish this fight without Adia here. Yeah, that didn't hurt that much. Okay, let's go ahead and just do some stomps here on Angelo. Um, again, I still... Nothing I can do, because, of course, Magnolia is not my magic person, so... Whatever, I guess we just don't do anything. Let's go ahead and pull out some of the magic here. I think Thundara... I don't know which one's best. Let's just do all of them and... See if maybe any of them are is like a critical weakness for any of them. And then let's go ahead and just do a Kirata here. I think it should be good. You cared about that girl, didn't you? Why else would you come looking for revenge? Revenge? Is that what you think this is about? That girl was nothing more than a tool to me. Like my spatula. If my spatula broke, you bet I'd be annoyed. I actually feel sorry for you. You had someone who really cared about you. And you're comparing her to a spatula. You're really starting to get on my nerves. What do you know about me? What happened between Amy and I is our business. So shut up and die already! Wait, so Thunder... She's, they're at least weak to one, which is Thunder, so I'm just going to keep using Thunder then. Just 
using stomps here. And those are almost as good as instantly killed weakened foes. Okay, well, none of us are weak. Let's go ahead and keep using stomps here. Still can't do anything there. Let's go ahead and use Thundara on everyone. Now, of course, let's just do another Kirada on everyone here. Sponge Cake. That's not really... It doesn't really do... Ah! That hurt a lot. How did that hurt so much? That's crazy. Yeah, let's get rid of... Please just kill that one at the side. Okay, apparently not. Can't use items either, which is a shame. I can't get her out of... Can I get Magnolia out of Ghost Form? Is that something I can do? The fault. Let's just go ahead and do another. I wonder if the bishop ability can do it. This is probably something I should Google, but yeah, it's default. Yeah, it's default here too. Let's just decapitate. That's all right. Ooh, let's go ahead and use a couple of stomps here. Stomp, stomp, stomp. It's default. Let's use a couple more Thundaras on everyone here. And a default here. Another sponge cake. Please don't kill her. Okay, there we go. We killed that one. Now we'll be able to do a whole bunch of magic damage on Angelo. Damn. Let's go ahead and default, default, default. Okay, I keep using that stupid sponge cake of yours. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just default. Even with this. I know he's at three, but... Yeah. Let's keep doing that. Oop. What was the point of that? I mean, I guess that it's good. It wasted a turn of mine, but... Let's just go ahead and use, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. Get rid of his charm here. Oh, okay, that got, got rid of his charm himself. Fair enough. Let's use a bunch more stomps. Um, let's just default and default here. Maybe these stomps will kill him. Oh, the reinforcements are back. That sucks a little bit. Okay, that does suck. Tiny bit, but what we can do is just put, give... Let's give you a turbo ether. Default, default, and then let's go ahead and just do one curata here. Please heal, please heal. Please heal, 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 heal. Mm -hmm. Why did you have to wait that long? Okay, first let's just, you know what, no. With you, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll use a turbo ether on myself then. Never even got to use the Turbo Ether. What a shame. Okay, Thundara. Let's just do a Thundara on everyone. And let's just go ahead and do a Phoenix. And then we could put our next potion on Adia there. Sponge Cake. Just stop with that stupid Sponge Cake, bruh. Please. Let's do some Thundaras here. We're gonna need a lot more of those though to get rid of the sidekicks. I'm just gonna keep stomping at Angelo though. Try to get rid of him if we can. Still nothing with Magnolia. We can go ahead and do four more Thundaras. And then a default here. Please just don't kill anyone. This should get rid of the medic, I think, right? Yeah, I got rid of the medic, yup. How much HP does this dude have, bro? Come on. Capitate, that doesn't that won't do anything. Let's do another Kirada. Some more sponge cake, that's so annoying. Make sure to heal everyone. Capitate, no one's weak. That's default default. More of that stupid sponge cake. Okay, let's do some more stomps. Default and default. Charm cheesecake, just not at Adia. <laughs> Adia is literally the only one that I needed for that not to happen to. Absolute shame once again. 
That's all right. We can just go ahead and just use a, a Sogna. There we go. Okay. Let's get rid of her charm here. Except it sucks because she used a lot of BP. She she basically did the worst thing she could have done. She took BP from my good characters, used her own BP. That was just awful. But it is what it is. Um, man, I don't want to use another ether here. Um, so I guess we just use some bomb fragments. That's about all we have at the moment. Can default again. We'll do 500. You know, that's not actually not that bad for this stage in the game. Yes, default again. And now we can do some more stomps. And Magnolia isn't here to do damage, which is quite a shame. Okay, he's probably going to bring in reinforcements soon, right? Hopefully he just dies before then. Yeah, I guess with Magnolia, I'm just like, not doing as much damage as I usually do, and I'm like feeling that. I just need I need more MP, dude. I just, and I just don't have it, man. I just don't have it. I guess we can share with you a little bit, but that'll only give him another one or two. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that'll only give him 66, which basically now leaves me without healing, so... I can do three thunders here. I have to hope that this will basically kill him before he does anything else. Please kill him. Thank you. Thank you. I was I was out of MP there, completely out of MP, so I basically needed him to die there, so. Okay, we got the Petisir. Asterisk, which is just another buff class, right? It's just another, yeah, Undermire Falls with the Ray of Deadly Desserts, so he can basically just make stuff and make people do things. Not something I'm interested in, I'm just gonna be completely honest. All my work, my genius ruined, my pride, my passion, that I suffer the same fate as that woman is just icing on the bitter cake of defeat what are you waiting for finish me and end this cruel farce but you don't want to dirty your spotless hands to think i lost to the likes of you then you leave me no choice but to do the deed myself heaven here i come what no put down the cake <gasps> this... this ring... It's that cheap trinket I gave Amy. There's a note tied to it? To my sweet darling. If you're reading this, I guess it means I'm pushing up daisies. I'm sorry for letting you down. I was never good enough for you. But I loved you more than anyone in the whole wide world. Growing up in the woods, all I ever ate was roots and bark and wild animals and stuff. I didn't even know what cake was until we met. But that first bite I took, holy cow. I couldn't believe anything so sweet could exist in this world. So I decided I'd be sticking with you, whether you liked it or not. If I hadn't have met you, I probably never would have seen the outside of those woods. You made my world a bigger place, darling. Thank you. Your sweet sugar cake, Amy. P.S. You want to know what made me happiest? When I slept in on Sundays and you made me a special pancakes. I'd give anything just to taste them again. So listen, if you ever loved me, even just for a second, do me one last favor. Stop fighting. Open the pancake shop instead. Then everyone in the world can be as happy as I was. Sweet darling, a thousand times I asked her. Even now, in my lowest moment of failure, she won't knock it off. Aggravating to the end, that woman. Oh, where are you going? Uh... Next time we meet, you'll get your just desserts. 
I'll serve you the best pancakes you've ever had. Nice. I love good endings. I love that. I'm I'm Phew. glad you just didn't die like everyone else. Tough cookie. Wait, aren't we forgetting something? Magnolia it's still Magnolia. a ghost. We never asked him to bring her back. Oh no, now what do we do? She'll come back. We have no idea where he was headed either. We can't just leave her like this. Magnolia's scared. I can't see her, but I can tell. Me too. We have to do something. Okay, but guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. If you guys didn't... Well, We're not done. done okay, hold on. Friends. We're not. You wash the dirty scoundrel right out of our hair. It was a schwitz watching from my comfortable hiding spot, but I never saw a truer display of heroism. If not for your quick action, our peaceful nation would truly be in hot water. As a token of my eternal gratitude, I would bestow upon you a lifetime Yudohana bath port. Maybe the baths will fix her. A bath port? Yes, like a passport, but with a B and a lisp. With it, you are free to make use of our baths whenever you wish. That's very generous of you, your lordship, but we don't have much time for hanging out in hot springs. Hmm. Wait a minute. Of course! The baths here are supposed to cure all ills. Maybe it would work on Magnolia, too. Really? Sounds like a long shot. It's worth a try. Let's do it. Here it is. Oh, that's hot. Magnolia must be somewhere around here. Try splashing it around. Okay, here it goes. Grace is short! Look, she's back! Wow, it really worked! It's a little scary how well it works. But all's well that ends well. Without a doubt. Oh, la vache, I thought I was going to be stuck like that forever. There's nothing Ghost a good is broken, by the way, but... Indeed, cleanliness is next to godliness. Now that that mess is all cleaned up, I insist you stay the night and enjoy our hospitality. <sighs> you know, a bath would be good right now. What do you say, everyone? Oh, okay. Looks like we're done with that side quest, and we're also done with today's episode. So, guys, if you enjoyed, thanks for watching. If you, uh, like, leave a like in a comment and all that good stuff, guys. I'll talk to you later.